motherfucker. You tried to run game on me. Player, no, a player, baby. I know where the rules be. I know that these hoes come for free or they come for cheap. The only thing I ever ask a nigga is to be honest with me. Playing like you like me when you know you wanna fuck me. Say that with your chest. Oh, on God, you won't touch me. He asked me, do I trust him? Nigga, hell no. Nah. Now, why would I do that? You know I don't get attached. You ask the questions that you know the answer to already. You want me to catch feelings when that shit'll never happen. The dick won't move me. I'm standing real solid in my motherfucking body. Yeah. I do my bird man hands. Hey. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be into your reading, the gossip on you, okay? I know y'all like these messy ass readings, so I ain't even decided, like, what the fuck, like, what cards I wanted to use, because, like, uh, who knows? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see the gossip on you, child. Let's see. <laughs> I already feel like cause every time I do these readings, it's it's I well one time I did the gospel people believe about you. Somebody got mad because some they pal they chose people didn't really have much to say about them, and they got mad. I'm like, bitch, that's a good thing. What the hell? But regardless, you know, typically when I do these, people be thinking that they know something. And they don't know bitch ass things, so it's always interesting to see like what people know about this. Okay, so. By now, you've already showed your pal. I'm just going to be pal one, I guess. Shit, because <laughs> I just pressed record. Okay, so let's see. What is the gossip on my viewers who select pal one? What's the gossip on them? What's the gossip on my viewers who select pal one? What is the gossip on my viewers who select pal one? Hmm. She a baddie with her baddie friends. <laughs> <laughs> Some people be saying that you have like for those of you who are fair skinned, they're saying you have pretty privilege or light skin privilege. People are saying that you you think you all ain't bougie. Okay, you you act like you're not you're not there when people talk to you. It's like you look away, you stare off in the distance, you don't make eye contact, like you don't really care. Like if people say you're a bitch. She or she were saying you're a bitch. Ooh, okay. Mm, nothing hurts more than your favorite person turns to a life lesson. People are saying that you disconnected from people. Like you, you got you. You feel like you're too mature for your be your old best friend, and you like you giving them the cold shoulder. You don't care about it. You feel like that their concerns aren't your concerns. You've outgrown people. You think people feel like you. Okay, people feel like that you're you're very beautiful. You're very attractive. But the gossip on you, pal, one is that you don't have no time for to play with people. You don't have time to have fun. That you've grown up, and now that you think you're better than people. If I could write you a song and make you fall in love, I would already have you up under my arms. I used to promise my I hope that you like this, but you probably don't. You think you're cooler than me. Okay, let's see. Yeah, people be saying, <laughs> yeah, you, you meditate a lot. People are talking about, people have seen you outside meditating. Um, but people are saying that you're on like this spiritual journey. You just cutting people off. People also say you're money hungry. People are saying that like you're materialistic. Um, some people are saying that you have low self-esteem, that you are a, like a leader, but you lead people astray. Okay, people can be saying that you're, I don't know, you're, you're, you're how do I say this, high mass? Um, <laughs> if you don't know what that means, you're not southern, that means fast, promiscuous. Um, some of you guys, people are talking about you, like you in a relationship, a polygamous relationship, they could be saying that. Uh, but most of all, what I'm mostly getting for you guys, people are saying you have like get rich quick schemes. Like people are saying you get jobs and you always trying to like make money, but it's like you're trying to make money to get things that make you happy. Like you're money hungry. Some people are saying that you're a salesperson. Okay. Some people are saying like you're just gluttonous, you're greedy. Okay. Hmm. But you get other people to do your work for you. It's like you're a behind the scenes person. You're very pretty though. You're or handsome. Okay, with you being having nads right here. You're very attractive. You're very funny. People say that about you. But you don't you're not you're not like that anymore. These days you're you're lashing out on people. People feel like you have mommy issues and you project those mommy issues on to other people. That's the gossip on you. Like your mommy you be going off on people because you found out thing like you know things like your family drama, you haven't dealt with it and there's still secrets coming out that you didn't know about when you were younger and you're getting mad and that your whole life has been dedicated towards getting back and like people that hurt you and specifically your parents okay because you feel betrayed but they're saying you dress well you're very talented you're very gifted you have things that could make money but that's all you're focused about is money people aren't like people, people some people can be saying unless they're paying you or doing buying something for you you're not gonna get out the house people can be saying you that type of friend that don't have no money okay what is the gossip on my family viewers Yeah, you bougie. 
<laughs> you bougie the most likely. That's what they saying. I, allegedly. You know, what, what did you got from my power viewers? Yeah, you funny acting. I'm telling you. You funny acting that motherfucker. It's like, you come around for family occasions. You real standoffish. And you clearly uncomfortable. You don't want to be there. Uh, you did you have very strong opinions about things okay you make people feel stupid too i feel like people feel like you make them feel stupid because they don't think like you they don't know things you do um this is like a child like, there's a childhood best friend that's like upset that you don't want to be around them anymore they're like they're the one they're gossiping and they're watching from a distance and they're mad yeah look yeah you disconnected from this person and they're fucking pissed and they're gossiping and they're saying they got much from this you're so mean you're so mean you're so vain you probably think the song is about you you're so vain <laughs> what is the gossip on power one you've been through a lot you've been through a whole fucking lot could be a leo um, somebody here has a deceased loved one people are gossiping about um or it's like you're, you're not fun no more people are saying you're no more fun like some of you people are gossiping and saying that you like you used to be out people could be saying you're a whore but it's because it's like your mommy issues like this trauma your people could be saying you're hypersexual but you try to act like you holier than thou um people could be saying that you never got over the death of someone Either it be a child, a mother figure, a family member, you didn't get over it, the death of someone. People are gossiping about that. People are also say that you don't give a fuck, you'll put, like, you'll act like people, people say that you treat them like they died. <laughs> I'm sorry, but people, like, it's funny because when people, I literally greet people when I cut them off as if they did die. So, you know, this might be my pal. I'll, I'll comment below if it is. <laughs> what is the gossip on pal one? It's like, excuse me. Oh, you, you, uh, oh, you fancy, huh? Yeah, you, you ducked off on people. It's the same, the same shit. Everybody saying the same thing. Really, it's the same type of energy. Yeah, you holier than that. You think you better than somebody. You think you cool than people. Yeah. And some people are saying they helped you get where you are. You, that you, you, you owe them a certain whatever the fuck. Who gives a shit what these people fucking think? These people are fucking dweebs. Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these people here are just fucking assholes like this people here just mad they don't have access to you the way they used to but i feel like when you were around these people they made you feel small and when you finally wised up and to the point that these people weren't your real friends and now that you want to get mad because you don't want to fuck around with them for what so i can be your punching bag so i can be your charity case get the fuck out of here <laughs> what is the truth of the situation because we gonna end on a lighter note what is the truth You fine as fuck. And also this person was just insecure because their partner wanted you. That's just what that's the truth. Whoever this person is, their partner found you be attracted. Their friends like you better than they like them. And you're cool. And there's just the energy these people here. They they were going to lead you down a different path, a wrong path, and you disconnected because you were supposed to. Yeah, and you're good. Like these people here, you move in grace. These people acting like you did you like your glove is personal to them. No. Like you I feel like you disconnected from them because they forced your hand. But you even still I feel like I don't even think that you talk shit about the people that did you wrong. Like you should or you could talk shit about these people. And when I say that I feel like some of you guys have literally seen I don't know why, but I feel like I don't know. Somebody here is gay. Because I'm seeing, like, shit stains on the sheets. I don't know. Like, either it's you or them or somebody here. You know, like, I feel like you just know this person's business. You know they, you know, you know they business. You know they teeth. And you could go hard, but you don't. So, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. If you would like a personal reading or a more extended reading, those are going to be on Patreon. Check me out on Patreon. I love you guys. to the money back and run on socials. This will be your reading. I'm going to move on to the next pal. We're going to move on to pal number two. Okay. How to? What's up? Let's get into your reading. Let's see what the gossip is on you guys. Let's see. What's the gossip on how to? What's the gossip on my viewers who select how to? You guys smoke a lot of ganja? Ganja burn, ganja burn, ganja burn. That's the same fucking card coming out. We're going to put that back. All right, some of you guys could have been drawing the power. One, if you were, please go watch it. Let me do it like this.
I guess I should have done this part off camera, but shit. I gotta make sure I get a good shuffle. That's the gossip on pal too. Go off my chair got bigger. Okay, I'm talking to the moon. Some of you guys like um, oh, some of you guys are being you're isolating yourself. People saying that you're not you. People don't know where you at. What you got going on? People are saying that you cut them off. People are saying that you're a conspiracy theorist. Like you have a lot of outlandish perspectives of the world. Okay. People are saying that you could be you could suffer from like mental disabilities like depression. You could have, you could be a life path number 11. What is the gossip on path two? Yeah, you, you possibly that you're, like you're suffering in silence. It's like lonely person in private room. People can tell that you're not okay, but you don't let people in. You don't know how to allow people to help you. We have people saying they think that you're depressed. People are worried about you. And it's because you're having financial issues. People are worried about you. And you're, you, you don't seem to be, you have blind faith in something. And people like if people are saying that you um are moving by faith, not by sight. Um, there's something that you're going through, some sort of loss, huge loss you have. It's like you're I don't know, you have some sort of loss, or since maybe you peaked and maybe your money isn't right, but it doesn't feel like that you're miserable. It feels like that you're like things can go a bunch of different ways. It can either go you, I, some of you guys could be living in like your living situation could be unsavory because this looks like the window pane to like because the president Biden, he's only there for a certain period of time. He's not there. This is a temporary living situation for him. He's not going to forever live in this White House. You understand what I'm saying? So some people are saying like you're, I don't know, either something has run its course for you. I don't know. Financial constraints. Maybe you're going out on a limb and following your dreams. And people could be saying this isn't necessarily smart because you need money. Ah, oh, boo. Low vibrational thoughts. Boo, boo, boo. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Negative negativity. I don't like it. Ugh, bad news bears. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, so let's see. What is the gossip on Pal 2? <laughs> what is the gossip on Pal 2? Baby, when I when I never know when you might walk by. Because I gotta be right on time when I see you. Somebody likes you. When I see you. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. What is the, if I, what is the, excuse me, what is the gossip on Pal 2? What is the gossip on my viewers that's like Pal 2? What's the gossip on my viewers that's like Pal 2? What's the gossip of my viewers that's like Pal 2? I feel like you are there for a lot of people, but you don't want people to help you. People could be saying you have like a savior complex, but you don't know how to ask for help until it's too too damn late. Then you get mad when people don't want to help you. Um, what is the gossip on Pal 2? What's the gospel about, too? I love it when I do it like that. What's the gospel about, too? God damn. It don't even feel like it's really gospel. It feel like concern. Yeah, we have instigator. Drama here. Um, uh, okay. That you disconnected from people. It feels like people that are gossiping about you, people that you ask for help, but when you ask them for help, it's like they just, they just want to talk about it. They just want to talk about, we give you advice that it's not applicable. Like, oh, I think you should go get benefits. Bitch, do you know how long it takes to get benefits? Oh, I think, it's like general blanket state. People that put you through, jump, like, made you jump through hoops for the help that they was offering and it wasn't really help. People that you had to protect yourself from or gossiping about you. But people could also be saying that you are... Start a drama. Hmm. I don't really feel like that's your energy, though. I don't. I feel like people here. I'm gonna be honest with you. People could be talking about somebody that was talking about you, and something happened to that person. I don't know what happened, but something happened to somebody that was instigating beef with you, and talking about you, and people are talking about that person. I'm rubbing your glue. Whatever you say bounces off me, it sticks on you. People could be saying that you do, like, magic, and that could be why you're going through certain things. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just some people here are just so late, so small-minded. Like, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. What is the gossip of how to? <laughs> That's why I'm, like, doing these readings. These people are so fucking low vibrational. Why is so fucking low? 
at the frequency of a damn fart. Just shut up. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> what is the gossip about too? Because it's like I was scrambling. It's like they really can't say nothing about you because they don't know what the fuck you got going on. So maybe that's why I'm like struggling to get a car. It's like people just can assume that things are going so exactly like, what? What's the gossip about too? They don't know what the fuck you got going on. What they gonna say? Obsession. There's somebody here that likes you that you don't like. Okay. Whether well, you're obsessed with somebody that doesn't like you. You could be like, you could have a crush on somebody that's gay or, or, or. Whoever this, if you're a feminine and you're very, like, if you're a woman, specifically if you're a woman. And it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine. If you're a woman, okay, you identify as a woman, okay, not, you know, if you identify as a woman, there is someone, a masculine energy, could be a man or it could be somebody who identifies with the masculine energy. This person is obsessed with you and you seem not to be too pressed about this person. Womp, womp, womp. Maybe this person makes you compete for love or compete for their attention. People are saying that you disconnected. Anybody that tries to keep you, like, in competition, maybe it was a job or something like that where they tried to get you to... I don't know, compete or something where it was drama. Like, oh, okay, something bad. Somebody else fucking with you at work or like like a, a competition or something like that. Maybe you did sales or maybe you was working at an institution. It was drama there, and somebody tried to fuck you over. This person got karma. This is this is the gospel on you. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the gospel on you for sure. But there's also somebody that likes you that you don't seem to give any time of day. What was the gossip on that situation for Kyle too? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like this a lot. Okay, this person here, this card indicates that you are at the beginning of your very own lowest. Somebody gossip about you that really, really likes you. I really, 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 really like you. Okay. Uh, some people can say that you, I don't know. Maybe you're, some people are saying that you're a liar or that you daydream a lot, that you see things that, I don't know, you see ghosts. It's like, I see dead people. But <laughs> besides that, true love. <laughs> okay, so that's some. There's, like, someone here that's been watching you for a while. I feel like you guys have friends. You probably picked up on the fact this person likes you, but they just don't know how to express it. There's, this is, this is, this is, this is good shit right here. I'm glad I kept shuffling for this. This bullshit, these are just non-motherfucking factors, okay? So, let's see what this person here has to tell you. Like, what message they have for you. Because I feel like you know this person. And then we're going to get off. What is the gossip that this person that has a romantic interest towards Kautu is saying about Kautu? What is the gossip? I don't think we ever should have crossed that line. I know I'm not supposed to feel like I do, but I do. Friends don't do the things we do. This is somebody that's a friend or maybe they friends on you, but they really like you. Maybe they had a crush on somebody else and they went towards that person just to feel, realize that they was in love with you. Or maybe when you guys were young, and maybe they feel like you guys were too young. Maybe you were out of that league. Okay? Why do I feel like I'm dealing with care in this relationship? I'm tired of feeling dismissed um, and being told to be strong. I want to be supported. This person really likes you, but they feel like you don't give them time of day. They feel like you don't like them back. Okay, and uh, yeah, I understand that someone hurt you before I came into the picture, but I'm not discounting that. I just want a chance to show my love for you. Yep, show my love for you. <laughs> so that's what I have for you guys. Pow two. This will be your read. This is the gossip on you. Uh, yeah, I mean, read any ain't really much, you know. <laughs> Should I do a third pal? Why not? Why the fuck now? Let's get to the third pal. Love you guys in the minute back in the round of social pal too. We're gonna move on to the third pal. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, what's goodie pal three? Pal two. They they so out the fucking mix. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I almost didn't do a pal three, but we're gonna do a pal three. What's the drama on pal three? What's the gossip on pal three for show? Ashowski. Okay. Okay. You bounce around from one person to the next and you don't give people closure, you ghost people. You get rammed. That's what they're saying. You get rammed. And it's, you know, you play stupid, but you know what the fuck is going on. You could be light, lighter complected, travel buddy, you can move around. You could be somebody, you could be a trick, you could block people out the fuck. Okay. Some people are saying that you pay for pussy or a dick or whatever, or you sell pussy or dick or ass. That kind of resonates. <laughs> bow down bitches bow, bow down bitches so you have some sort of status and people are saying that you kind of use that to like manipulate people okay people are saying that you have like this you think you better than somebody you think you all that people are saying just you're very attractive though people are gossiping about you you have a lot of sex appeal okay people are saying that you are a sex symbol of some sort masculine and feminine it doesn't matter you move around you travel a lot we talk about that but you also are kind of like you you are 
you cool with who you cool with, but no new friends around this motherfucker. You just naturally just don't fuck with people. You feel like everybody got a hidden agenda. If somebody has a crush on you and Dre make a move on you, you like somebody that's like, I feel like this is you, 25 cent. And there's somebody else that's like a normal person. People are, people are gossiping about the person that you like, but the person that you like, you doing a lot of people wrong. And it feels like, it, like people may be saying that you, you diss bad bitches for somebody that's like, I don't know. Twin Flame, yeah, people could be talking about Twin Flame connection that you were involved in, but somebody likes you. I feel like your Twin Flame actually like you, and people are talking about that. Like, you and this person here, like, y'all got, like, y'all both got your own, sh- I love it because she got her own, and y'all both got your own shit going on. Y'all beefing right now, though, but it's unnecessary. And I don't know, you could be being mean to people because you're missing this person, and people could be gossiping you, gossiping about you because of that. What's the gospel on Pal 3? Oh, you're heartbroken. You haven't moved on. You haven't healed things. And that maybe um, somebody here, I don't know, somebody could be into like magic or something like that, ritual work. I don't know. Maybe you're depressed. People could be saying you're depressed because of a twin flame dynamic or relationship. Because it says closure is a scam. Accept who they are, what they did, and move the fuck on. So people are saying, like, I don't know, people can be saying that you, you, you keep trying to re encounter something to reinstate a relationship that you need to let go of. Who fuck these people? Why can they not? I mean, they, maybe they try. I don't know. <sighs> maybe this person blocked you. It's like, you maybe you, people are, could be saying that you think you have a twin flame, but this person don't really like you like that. People can be saying that, or that they're not the answer you. Anxiety and reverse. People are saying that, like, you stressing yourself out. It don't have to be like this. Like, yo, you stress yourself out. Worry about something else. You can judge. You got that drip, but you don't fuck with people. You stand off, but you funny acting. Okay? Um, You're real prideful. Okay? Maybe this is like a... I don't know. People could be feeling like the person that you're attracted to. It's a... This don't match. Like, this is like the angel and the lion. And they look, the angel love. You're in love. I'm so in love with her. And she's in love, love with me. <laughs> that's like do it up, did it. It's that type of energy. This person does love you. Y'all like each other, but it just feels like the people just because people would typically put y'all together. People have personal opinions. It's like why would they? I don't know. You're you. This is what you don't see coming. My, these people need to mind their motherfucking business. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. But maybe this person ghosted you, blocked you, or something like that. But it ain't it ain't what the fuck they think it is. They don't know what the fuck is going on. But since they talk about your love life, let's get some messages. Let's see what the gossip is. And we gonna see what the truth is. What's the gossip? Mm. Mm. Hold on. <laughs> My eye. Some of y'all on y'all like right eye, y'all can have like an injury, like a cut or scar or something like that. Like, right eye. My right eye started hurting. Or something like that. Something like that. But mm. Okay, the gossip of your relationship is that you still sabotage your connection with somebody that you love and you stab this person in the back and that now there's no, like lack of trust in your connection. What is the truth of the connection between you and uh, Power 3 and their twin flame? Okay, someone here is running because they're afraid of co- co- uh, intimacy. There's a lot of energy surrounding it. Yeah, y'all are heartbroken, but it will take time to heal. Um, maybe you're dating new people because you're trying to get over the situation, but... It doesn't feel like, I don't know. Some of you guys, there could be energy surrounding. Maybe you did. <laughs> somebody give somebody the silent treatment because they were hurt, okay? They were hurt. <sighs> Yikes, let's see. I didn't do this for the past, but I'll do it for you. For Power, power 3 viewers, what is, the, what is the message for that from that twin flame for Power 3? We turn from friends to lovers. I don't know how we got to this point, but the constant jealousy and sudden rush of emotions is uh, confusing me. I want my friend back. Okay. So some this person here could be, I don't know, there's somebody here that... Mm. This could be some, like your twin, somebody that you started off with, like and things are just... I don't know. When y'all when y'all cross that line, it does feel like exactly what the car says. It feels like things got intimate very fast and like shadow aspects got triggered. So it does feel like you guys are at that that, that the divine point of twin flame separation. Okay. 
Feel my heart's intention. Teach me how to love you. I'm willing to learn. We have so much to love between us to throw away. Okay? Your love reminds me to stay in the present. You and I have a love that's galactic and multidimensional. Why would anyone want to throw that away? Don't deny our love to your friends. They only know what we tell them. Don't tell them nothing. Exactly. That's that's the truth. <laughs> like, that's the vibe. Like, you know what you're feeling. You know what's going on. They're not going to understand it because it's not... Y'all love is it surpasses this dimension. So that's the truth. Okay, so people are gossiping about it, but they don't know what the fuck is going on. People be saying that you you like you turning down motherfuckers and like you got like you you keep bad bitches, but bad bad bitches like you, but you not impressed because that's what you know. You know a bad bitch ain't gonna raise your daughter or like a a hood nigga. You need, you don't need a real nigga. You need a real man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like well, let me not say it because not everybody that watch my content is black and y'all probably can't say nigga. And you better not be saying it if you're not black. I don't give a fuck who gave you a pass, Spanish or not. Don't be saying it where you're not black but i'm sorry i gave her a passion about that because oh, i remember i worked with this damn white girl and she used to be like well i date black men i'm white i'm black by injection because i fuck black dick and it was just so annoying she would say nigga and it would bother me and i just i just quit that job i just got because the damn oh, oh he was just trying to say he he as an italian he's been through things and Italian slavery is just like black slavery, and I just have to get the fuck up out of there. So excuse me if I'm just a little irritated, but it's something like that. It's like these people here, they don't that completely unrelated. I don't know why I shared that with y'all, but it's something like energy. People are idiots, and they think they have a place of reference. They think they can understand with what you experience and the love you experiencing and the pain that's associated with genuine love. They don't know what that feels like. That this is the part where you tell them just keep living. All right, because motherfuckers be breaking hard to feel the love you have with this person. It's just a lot of evil eye because I feel the need to show you guys this. Let me get you one of these, one of these pendants to protect yourself. All right, love you to the money back in right now. So soon as you're reading, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. We're going to move on to the next reading.